Dooney is a tool for us. It's a, going to be a large part of this training because I really want for you guys to, um, to gain as much, much exposure to tools and, and processes that produce real changes as possible. Um, if you haven't noticed, everything that, that I attempt to, to deliver is, uh, are, are things that produce real changes. And the Dooney is a process in, in my own personal practice and also that of people who I really respect um, that has a very effective result, you could say. And if you are seriously interested in spiritual transformation, which I think that you all are, um, then having access to, to things like the Dooney um, can be helpful. One, because magic is real. And not like woo-woo type of that stuff, but magic is in being able to make real changes to reality. That means changes to our awareness, changes to our habit patterns, um, changes to our, our, our beliefs and ways of thinking. And the, there's a, a deep magic to working with the fire. There's a deep magic to um, the ritual process and learning about how to um, enter sacred space and, and what it means to enter sacred space. And the, um, this process of the Duni, which is a fire ritual, if you haven't gathered that by now, um, involving mantra and involving um, the asana. Remember, we're, we're sitting, we're focused, our drishti, our gaze is on the, the fire. The fire is a symbol of the alchemical process that we are attempting to undergo um, to offer our density, to offer our, our um, limiting beliefs. And so, although I'll be conducting the, the process, you are invited to create your altar. That the fire is, is a shared altar. It is, I will bring, I'll bring it to life, but it is its own being. It's its own thing. And each person gets a chance to interact with that according to their, um, to their will. And because there's 16 of us and we're all sitting in a circle, there's this, there's this geometry that happens where we're all attempting to attain our goal together. Right? It's actually really simple when you think about it. Like, I know, like, I'm going to try my best to, to do my best to make the best result happen for myself so that I can bring more love and joy and light into this world. That is my promise because why else would I waste my time doing it? Right? I'm, I'm after the highest goal. Aren't you guys after the highest goal? Yeah. And knowing that we're all attempting to contain our energy for a period of time that we're all uh, like, yeah, it's, 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 um, we're all bringing our Shakti to it. And by all of us bringing our Shakti to it, we get to multiply because it's like spokes on a wheel. I add my unit of life energy. You add your unit of life energy. Rick adds his unit of life energy and we're all putting it in. And there's a resonance and a reverberation that we all get to feed from. So it's like there's 15 more people than me helping me do my work. And there's 15 more people than you helping you do your work. Pretty, it accelerates it, right? It's, there's, there's a profound alchemy to this. One, it's also a very primal and tribal thing to sit around a fire and chant mantras. It's like, how many people are going to be doing that? <laughs> you know, it's not on very many... Um, it's not on very many schedules in, in yoga trainings. It, luckily, it was on my schedule when I, when I did my training with Naganath. And I'm so, so grateful for that because and he didn't tell me anything. He just said, all right, Wednesday, we're doing a Dooney. Be at the fire pit at 5. I'm like, what's a Dooney? 
She's like, oh, just try not to stop chanting. <laughs> that was it. And I had such a profound result that I was just so blown away and I didn't understand what really happened. I was kind of like, something happened, but I don't really know what. And I know I want more of that. <laughs> because one, it was authentic as freaking heck. It was just authentic. He was just doing his thing. He was just like, this is what I do. This is, I've been doing this for 20 years. It works for me. You're welcome to join. And that felt so uh, honest and, and, uh, and transparent. You know, he was just sharing the Shakti of his process with me. And it was so generous too. It was just like, wow, what a guy. And we we're like, can we do another one? So we ended up doing three on my training. Luckily, you guys get to do more than three. So you get to really dive into this process and, and understand. And, and each time we do one, you'll get more insight about what it is and how it works. And I'll be able to talk through more things with you and we'll be able to process more things with you because the nature of the Duni, first of all, there's the fire and there's you and there's your process. And that's it. And everybody's there with you in the same camp. You're surrounded by nature. The stars are above your head. It's about as real as it can get. <laughs> and this is how yoga was done for thousands of years. Remember, we don't know how long ago fire started to become controlled. Some say 760,000 years ago. That was before the modern human, which is only 200,000 years. Three, more than three times as much, almost four times as long as humans have been humans, fire has been a part of our reality. If you could just think about that for a moment, that we co-evolved with this element. In fact, we co-evolved with all the elements, but fire, this is an example of fire. This is harnessing light energy. And the original TV, the original Netflix is the fire. There's a reason candles are so beautiful. And the fire also represents the sun. So it's, it's, a, it's a piece of the sun. There's a lot of, um, let's just say it is a chance to experience truly authentic worship. To really be in a relationship to a living elemental force, to be asking questions, to be in a, pro, in a divine communion, to be like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Am I doing it right? And then you're like, wait, why am I asking? Let, let me ask this. Like, Hey, fire, can you help me? You know, I'm, I'm processing this thing and, 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 and it starts, we start to offload. And there's also the, the gaze you purify through your eyes. So by just staring at fire, that alone is purifying just by maintaining eye contact. It's purifying. It's, it's emptying out the nervous system. So in this process of Duni, you will experience things arise. You may be like, why the heck are we doing this? This is crazy. We're out here just doing this thing. And you get to just take that part of you, which is living in your body. It just happened to be triggered by this experience. And you get to put it in the fire and be rid of it. So that that part of you doesn't have to be carried into another scenario in your life. We're talking about generating Shakti. The, 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 quint, the creative force that everything needs to live. Generating Shakti is the process of clearing out habit and pattern and things that are causing us to repeat, that are taking up space, so that we have more potential available to us. It's, it's very simple when you think about it. So there's not too much more I can say other than like, we just have to do it. But I really, um, well, first of all, how did you guys feel about the Dooney? Which I <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. I'm, I'm stoked to share it with you guys. I've, I, am, I am so thankful that, um, first of all, I'm very thankful to my teachers and, and for, for them for empowering me. What happened, it was so cool, was... I, I go to Naga, I'm like, man, that was awesome. I want to, how do I do more of it? And he just said, go do it. <laughs> and 
And I was like, okay. And I did. And a hundred, more than a hundred of these later, um, I'm learning a little bit. <laughs> and I can tell you for sure that each time I do it, I learn a little bit more and I empty myself out a little further and I get a little more insight and not every Dooney is beautiful and ecstatic and, and amazing, but what practice is and how amazing is it that I get to come to the fire and just offer myself so humbly. Like just divine creator, like spirit, help. And it's as simple as that. The biggest piece of advice that I got around the Dooney was just really sincerely ask for help. Just make it as real and sincere as possible. Like, God, creator, source, I'm confused about this thing. Help. I don't know if I'm chanting this mantra right. Help. I don't, is there a way that I can get more comfortable? And it's just, it's literally a communion. It's very simple. That's the Dooney. I'm so excited to share with you guys. I'm really, really looking forward to it. The mantras on page 157, I'm just going to introduce them to you now because it'll be helpful just to see them, or 156, excuse me. And what I'll do is I'm going to go through them right now with you just so you can hear me say them so that when it t comes time to do it, we can just all be in it together and we don't have to ask questions and, and we can just go. It works better that way. There is a particular order and like there's a, a you, Naga called it the family recipe. <laughs> and it's kind of like, imagine you getting a, a recipe for spaghetti sauce from your grandma who got it from her grandma and it has like just the right amount of spices and, and when to put in the garlic and when to do the thing and how long to cook it you get that recipe it's like okay great I don't need to put in all of those hours of, of figuring this out I can just take the recipe and get good spaghetti that's the way I think of it I've explored changing it and doing doing it my way. It's been kind of lukewarm. It's been lukewarm. It's still a good result, but it's kind of lukewarm. It's not as good as grandma's spaghetti sauce. So this is the recipe and this is the way that if, if you guys ever come to the sanctuary with me, we'll be at the sanctuary in April um, to sit at my master's duty. Um, this is how it's done there. Jack was with us last year. Kaylee was with us. Audrey was with us. Rick, you still haven't been in the sanctuary. You're going to come sometime. Um, I see some of you guys there in the, with me in the future. It's awesome. Go if you can. Go, <laughs> go if you can. It's, I've done a lot of like crazy shit in my life. You know, I've, I've, drank tons of ayahuasca I've eaten lots of mushrooms I've taken loads of LSD I've, I've done a lot of crazy shit in my life in the pursuit of really understanding who I am and what I'm here to do there's always been a pure intention behind it and when I did the duty I was just like oh I don't need any of that other stuff anymore I was like this is I'm, I'm finding something here didn't mean I stopped doing all the other stuff <laughs> But you get the point. Um, there will be cannabis offered at the next Dooney, but I want you to get the experience without cannabis first. That way you can really, un you can have a, a, a clear experience um, before the cannabis is offered. It's not a requirement. It's offered. Take it if you wish. The mantra is used during the Dooney. Please repeat after me. Om Gang. Om Gang. Ganapati Namaha. Ganapati Namaha. Om Gang Ganapati Namaha. Om Gang Ganapati Namaha. And the gum and the gana kind of come together, so it's like Gang Ganapati. There's a, it's like a Gang. 
You don't pre you don't say the um. Ganganapati namaha. And the way you would, if you have a pen, you put a dot under the M, and that represents that that M has a nasally sound. Om Ganganapati namaha. And we are honoring and propitiating the force that is going to allow us to enter the underworld where the real work is done. To enter into the subconscious, to enter into that which is underneath our usual perception. Ganesha is the gatekeeper. He's also uh, connected to our ancestors, so it's a way of honoring and, and propitiating our bloodline, those who've gone before us. Sorry. It's a way of honoring those who've gone before us and entering the underworld in a, it's like, hi to the past. I see you. Thank you. Let's be here now. That's what it is. That's what that means. Ring, shring, cling. Ring, shring, cling. Paramishvari Swaha. Ring, shring, kring, Paramishwari Swaha. Ring, shring, kring, Paramishwari Swaha. It's kind of like Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Just kidding. If Parmesan cheese was the supreme goddess of the universe. Maybe it is. Because, maybe, yeah, exactly. Because, <laughs> so, Padam is something like supreme, and Ishvari is the goddess. Remember Ishvara Pranidana as the Niyama? Ishvara is, is the name for the Supreme Godhead. Ishvari is the Supreme Goddess. And so once we acknowledge the past and we say, Hi past, I see you, thank you. Can you leave me alone so that I can do my thing? Ganapati. You, then you go, all right, Supreme Goddess, all, cre all of creation, come be with me and help me with my task. I'm asking for your attention. I am asking for your grace. I am here to do a thing, honoring all of sup the supreme goddess of creation, Paramishvari. Svaha means to offer. Om Rudra, chili, 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 mili, mili, Om Swaha. Om Rudra, chili, 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 mili, mili, Om Swaha. Rudra is the name of Shiva before Shiva became Shiva. Rudra is also the name of Shiva when Shiva got really upset that his wife was, um, I think she like incinerated herself or something because the party went wrong. There's a whole story about it. And he, and he was so mad that he turned himself into Rudra and went around the universe wailing. Rudra means to wail and cry. And so when I, when I propitiate Rudra, and you'll feel something different on each mantra, and it's dependent on how you are relating to that energy. Remember, the mantras themselves are the thing. It's not that they mean something. I'm just giving you some context and story behind it. You'll feel the thing. Rudra, chili, 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 mili, mili, om swaha. It's like, it's like, oh God, I'm just, I don't know. Like, I just, if there's, if there's a force out there that can help. I'm here to receive that help. And then Guru Om. Guru Om. Guru Om. Guru Om. And when you chant, really feel this area like we're we're working on today. Guru Om. Guru Om. Because when we when we're chanting for a long period of time, your voice will get tired if you're chanting from here. Guru Om. Guru Om. You guys feel the difference in that? You're, you're, you're chanting with your whole body. Your whole body is involved. Sahita, all parts together. Guru Om is like um, honoring the, the, the principle of awakening. And it's also honoring all of the masters of all the, the traditions. Jesus, Buddha, Lao Tzu, Matsyendranath, Garakshanath. Allah, Muhammad, all of them, we're acknowledging you. We know that you've brought light to this earth. We are attempting to do the same thing. If you have any codes for us, we're acknowledging you. Thank you. That's basically what that's saying. 
Om Bhai Revaya Devaya Namaha. Om Bhai Revaya Devaya Namaha. One more time. Om Bhai Revaya Devaya Namaha. And remember that the B H A is like B H A, B H A. Yep. B H A, B H A, B H A. Devaya. Yeah, the B whatever the second word is. Oh, B H A Revaya Devaya. B H A Revaya. Revaya. Yeah. Yes. Bye. Okay. Yep. I can handle that. Yep. Bye. 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 is the name of Bai Rava's girlfriend or consort or wife. Bai Ravai is to Bai Rava. So all of the gods have an equal counterpart, a goddess. And so once we've gone through and we've honored all of the masters, we go, the, and she's the fierce one. She's the real badass, like, rah. And the tantric said that it's better to honor the terrible ones because they're more forgiving. <laughs> Seriously. They're like, honor, honor Kali, honor Durga. They're more forgiving and they're more, they're more likely to bless you. Interesting. Because in the Vedas, if you messed it up even a little bit, the whole thing didn't work. And in Tantra, they said, fuck all the rules. Let's do it our way. <laughs> Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Have you guys, has anyone not heard that mantra before? No? Om Namah Shivaya. It's like, higher self, I command you to be here with me. Om Namah Shivaya. I surrender to you, higher self. Um, oh, by the way, after Guru Om, you'll hear me... Um, and some of us who know will we'll honor the lineage. And that's where honoring the lineage, you'll see that below. So those are the names. I'm not asking you to, to join me unless you want to. You're more than welcome. Um, but we like to just acknowledge and say thanks to um, where this is coming from. It's, it's helpful. Om Sham Shri. Om Sham Shri. Shanais Charaya. Namaha. Shanaishwaraya Namaha. Om Sham Shri Shanaishwaraya Namaha. Om Sham Shri Shanaishwaraya Namaha. That is Saturn. Shani is Saturn. S H A N I, Shani. Saturn rules karma. So this is saying, I accept my destiny. I accept what I am fated to become. Help me move forward. It's a powerful statement. It's a very powerful statement. Saturn also rules discipline. So it's a way of being like, help me a little bit with my discipline. <laughs> help me plug into the archetype of discipline. Om, I'm, ring, cling, chamunda, eh, vitche. Om, I'm, ring, cling, chamunda, eh, vitche. Chamunda, eh, vitche. Chamunda, eh, vitche. Chamunda is a name for Kali. Kali in the, in the myth uh, destroyed two demons named Chamunda, or excuse me, Chanda and Munda were the two different demons. And so Kali came on the scene and vanquished these two demons. Got given the name Chamunda. Everyone knows who Kali is? She's a badass. She's a badass. If you're ever needing help letting go of something, she's the one. She helps to uproot those things that are tend to not, they want to stay. But you know that you want to uproot them. Can it hold? About the pronunciation of ing. Okay, go. Yes. Ing, ing. It's not. It's not aim. It's not I'm. It's ing. 
all of the, so all of those, uh, the ings, rings, shrings, rings, dooms, those are nga, 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 nga. You'll hear it's slightly different. And what that does is it rings the bell of your palate so that your pineal gland and your pituitary gland go, Wee! You get to ring the bell of your, your higher awareness. And in Tantra, the, the Bija mantra is like Lum. These are, these are designed to awaken Shakti and, and create an opening. So when you go Ain, Ring, Kling, it actually facilitates the flow of energy from the spine up into the brain. It's like an opening. It's like opening the door. Ain. Chamundaye. I'm trying to get through them so that you guys can have time. You'll have about an hour and a half break before we begin so you can rest. Um, Om Bai Revye Devye Namaha. Om Bai Revye Devye Namaha. Om Bai Revye Devye Namaha. And I want you guys, when you're chanting it, to feel almost like you're riding into battle. Right? It's like, it's you, it's the fire, you're surrounded by nature, you're with your Sangha, and we're all trying to get in there and do the damn thing. And so it's like, Om Bhai Revye Devye Namaha. Help me summon my Shakti so that I can get the job that I'm trying to get done, done. Bhai Revye. And excuse me, I said Bhai Rev Revye, the earlier one. That's actually Bhai Reva. Now this one's Bhai Ravi. So we honor the God and then we honor the Goddess. Excuse me, I mixed them up. Om Hring Doom Durga He Namaha. 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 She's got a lot of Shakti. She's got a lot. She, the, you women are going to love this. This is all about worshiping the goddess. <laughs> this whole process is like, destructive goddesses, come be with us. Beautiful goddesses, come be with us. Shrima, JJ Ma, nature, come be with us. It's awesome. Um, this one's a tongue twister. Listen carefully. ka e ha la ring ha sa ka la ring sa ka la ring cling all at once again ka e ha la ring ha sa ka la ring sa ka la ring cling good. I promise you, you will get the hang of it. I promise. It, it's a tongue twister and it's rearranging the pattern of the mind. And it will force your mind to configure itself and orient towards what that energy represents. It's beautiful. It's removing obstructions in the system. Every time you fumble over the words, you're creating a new transformation and a new neural pathway. That is the beautiful virgin goddess. She represents new beginnings. Lalita Sundari. She represents uh, beauty, newness. Um, it's like when you have a new idea and the new idea is super fresh. Before it becomes a fully fledged manifestation, it needs to stay in that little, that, that new stage. And so it's like, it's, it's honoring the, the newness. Om I'm Ring Kling Saraswati Swaha. Om I'm Ring Kling Saraswati Swaha. Saraswati is the goddess of wisdom and fine arts and music and knowledge. And so we're, after we've destroyed everything and we've pulled up all the weeds, now we're putting in good seeds. Ring, shring, ring, cling, Sri Lakshmi Swaha. Ring, shring, ring, cling, Sri Lakshmi Swaha. It's in the wrong order.
Lakshmi is the goddess of prosperity and abundance. No. It's ring, shring, ring, cling. Sorry, guys. Where it says kring, it's S H. Yeah. Ring, shring, ring, cling. Where it says kring, instead of hing, kring, it's ring, shring. S H. Lakshmi is the goddess of prosperity, abundance, health. Correct. And then once we've, once we've, and, and when we're chanting to Lakshmi, I like to say it's not about like, I am calling in abundance for myself. It's more like I am praying to acknowledge the abundance that is in my life. Help me align with how much beauty and abundance is already here. Help me see it. I'm not trying to use my magical stuff to get stuff. It doesn't work that way. I mean, it might be able to, but you're trying to reorient so that you can see what's right in front of you. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then once we've gone through it, it's just pure worship. Shri Ma, JJ Ma. Shri Ma, JJ Ma. Shri Ma, JJ Ma. Shri Ma, JJ Ma. One more time. J Ma means victory to the mother. Victory to Ma. Saying thank you, Divine Mother, for everything that is here. I am so grateful. It is the completion of our process. We are sufficiently purified at that point. We are giving thanks to her. And just pure, pure worship at that point. And that's it. We have the closing mantras. We come in peace and we go in peace. We come in peace and we go in peace. We come in peace and we go in peace. Om Shanti Kundalini Shakti. Om Shanti Kundalini Shakti. Om Shanti Kundalini Shakti. Om Shanti Kundalini Shakti. And Shakti is a short A. Shakti. Shakti. Same with Lakshmi. It's like lucky. Lakshmi. People say Lakshmi. It's incorrect. Lakshmi. Shanti is a long A, so you can put a line over that A. Shanti. No line over the Shakti. Om Shanti Kundalini Shakti. And then we go Om Shanti Shiva Shakti. Om Shanti Shiva Shakti. One more time. Om Shanti Shiva Shakti. And then with me together. Guru Om Tat Sat. Guru Om Tat Sat. Guru Om Tat Sat. And that's it. We are, we are, we've completed the process. We've closed the space. We've honored all the, the forces that have come to assist us. And we've said we are complete with our process. Thank you very much. Om. And then... Um, Use your Shakti wisely. I'm serious. You will have worked for two hours at that point, and you are filled with precious, precious, precious energy. Energy that can create, that has the ability to make things different in your life and in other people's lives. That's all. That's the Dooney. Which one? We'll go one at a time. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going to go one at a time. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, it'll pick up very quickly. Gotcha. Yeah, I just wanted you to hear it here first and see it, which will be helpful because you'll be able to enter the groove faster. And knowing that, so I'm chanting these mantras. I've done them maybe hundreds of thousands of times. I know my teacher's done them millions of times. His teacher's done them millions of times. We're entering into a slipstream. And it's like, You'll, it'll be your first time doing it, yes, but you get to enter the groove. And so it's going to be less clunky that way. Mm -hmm. Yes. It means I bow to my higher self. Yes, Jack. Um, 
Will we be closing uh, with Ganesha as well? Correct. Yeah, you guys can put at the end there. It's not written because it was written above. Om Gam Ganapati Namaha. Ganapati is the older version. It's like the OG. Yeah, the it's the original. Because Ganapati is his actual name. Ganapataye is like the pet name that we gave him. Okay. Yes. So we probably don't need to bring this with us because I'll do No. Yeah. Can we if you want to. If you want to. Yeah, there's, on, if you turn it to the second page, there's a journal. I invite you to use that. I want you, there's two whole pages of Dooney journal. Just so you guys can keep record of this, I wish I would have done it from, actually I did and I went back and read my notes and it was so hilarious. Um, so, just, just to give you something to reference back. Remember, we are, this is a ritual process. It's your ritual. It's a collective ritual, we're sharing the experience, but we're entering into a sacred container together where we're all making the agreement, I'm here to do my work. It's very simple. I'm going to be sitting in the same place, doing the same thing, not moving. My invitation is for you to do that too. Obviously, if you need to move and like adjust your seat, it's okay. With time, your, your prana becomes stable and you won't need to move as much. Um, but make sure you're freaking comfortable. Bring blocks, bring cushions. Bring... We're going to be sitting on the ground around a fire. So like if you need something to support you, please bring it. And Can you bring one of these blocks up there? Yes. Yeah, you can bring the blocks. I will have uh, stuff on the grass. Um, there will be some blankets. We're going to make it as cozy as we possibly can. Um, that way you're not, like, su I don't want you to be suffering. So don't, don't be suffering during this process. This is a, a very uh, particularly powerful way to co-regulate as a group because we're all harmonizing. We are entering harmony together and experiencing the truth of being locked in step with one another. It's a rhythm. Remember the drum beat. Yeah, Audrey. Um, two questions. Um, is first and then yes. Yeah, I, I mixed up the order. When you hear me say it, just switch the mantra. So Lakshmi, then Saraswati, right? It's Saraswati and then Lakshmi. You have that in your or, or excuse me, excuse me. Lakshmi and Saraswati. Okay. The way that it goes is you, you perpetuate the younger goddesses and then the middle ones and then the older ones. Yes, please. Um, it's, all, it's like you're on a date with the divine. It's like you're on a date with the divine. So shower, you know, put on your sense, brush your teeth. Um, wear uh, your jewelry. Bring a oh, bring your crystal too. I'll, I'll talk about how to work with the crystal when we get there. No. Mm -hmm. So everyone put your hand on the belly. Joanne is asking about how to use the voice. Inhale and inflate your belly. And now while pushing the belly out, go ah. And then it goes out and then it comes back in a little bit. You're, yes. So you're trying to create a barrel of air to be expressive. And, and guys, this is a beautiful way to practice really fucking expressing yourself. Like in a safe way, express your anger. In a safe way, express your courage. In a safe way, express your aggression. In a safe, because we're all focused. We're, it's, it's just you and it. And it's contained. So it's like channel that force and be with that. Om ring doom durga he namaha. Om ring doom durga he namaha. 
Isn't it fun? Yeah. So fun. It's fun. <laughs>